Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make Italian hot pickled peppers in oil. Here I have about two pounds of hot chili peppers. And what I did was I just go through them. You pick out anything with a black mark, get rid of it. Any soft peppers, get rid of that too. Give them a good rinse. Remove the stems. You could cut these peppers into whatever size you like. Some people cut them into tiny little ringlets. I like mine in smaller pieces, so what I do is I pulse it in my food processor a few times until I get the size that you see here. In a pot, you're gonna add one cup of distilled vinegar, one teaspoon of salt, and three cups of water. Once that boils, turn the heat off, add the peppers, and leave them in there for 45 seconds. You shouldn't leave the peppers in there for longer than 45 seconds, or they're gonna to be too mushy. You want a little bit of a crunch. Drain well using a sieve and then spread them on a cookie sheet lined with paper towels. You might have to change the paper towels a few times. Get as much water out of them as possible. Placing something heavy on the top paper towel also does a trick. So once you taking as much water out of those peppers as possible. Just transfer them to a bowl and now we're ready to jar them. Fill to about one inch from the top. Press down on the peppers, pack them in there but not too tightly. You want uh, the oil to be able to get down in between the peppers. So once you've filled all your jars, you're going to fill them with oil. Here I'm using olive oil. You can use whatever oil you like. Just keep in mind that olive oil solidifies when it's cold. So if you think it looks funny in your fridge, it's perfectly fine. So using a chopstick or um, even a spoon, just sort of move it around so the oil gets down between all those peppers. Top with more oil. Once you use the peppers, always have it topped up with oil and store it in the refrigerator. Here's the last of a batch that I made two years ago. These peppers could be kept in the fridge or stored in a cool, dark cupboard. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you back for more. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.